the first question they asked is where I was coming from. Where, where did you just sleep? They made me feel that I was already guilty. Police, they're supposed to make you feel safe. So then why do so many people say they feel threatened even during a routine traffic stop? You got lights coming all around that weren't even there a minute ago. <laughs> they just showed up out of nowhere. Last night, we showed you video based on a list of do's and don'ts for when you get pulled over. That list was put together by the Saginaw PD along with the NAACP. The goal? To ease the rising tensions between citizens and police. So tonight, we asked the other side what they thought could be done to ease those same tensions. We spoke with dozens of people about this contentious topic. Turns out many were uncomfortable going on camera because they were afraid of retribution. But their response was much like those who did go on camera. The most common complaint among citizens we spoke with, feeling like they were being treated like they were already guilty. Second most common complaint, many didn't like the questions police ask during a traffic stop, saying those questions are usually not relevant as to why they were pulled over in the first place. Where did you just leave? This is my grandma's house. Well, who was inside? What does that have to do with me being pulled over? They ask us, you know, where are we coming from or whatever. It shouldn't matter. Others claim they weren't even told why they were being pulled over before handing over their driver's license and registration. And then tell me why he put me over. He didn't? Mm -mm. How did that make you feel? Confused. I, I've come in contact with a lot of youngsters, young people who feel like it really doesn't matter what I say. I'm going down anyway. Pastor Hurley Coleman, a community activist, says he understands the issues on both sides and agrees with police that citizens should remain calm and composed and act respectful during a stop. But for the sake of tonight's story, we asked him specifically about what he thought police could do differently to improve their relationship within the community. They don't have to assume that in every circumstance they've got to prove that they're in charge. Pastor Coleman says the flashing lights, sirens, and the fact that an officer is approaching with a gun is enough to make anyone nervous. And so many times that just that perception, that presentation is overbearing and it creates an automatic friction. As for the many who spoke with us tonight, both on camera and off, most agree that police should be respected, but they also say police have to understand how nerve-wracking an encounter with the law can be. Scared, I guess, kind of too, at the same time.